Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand about the overflow concept with respect to unsigned numbers. And to understand this overflow concept, we should know that how the arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, they are performed on the unsigned numbers. So I have made a separate video for the arithmetic operations on the unsigned numbers. You can watch that video in the number system and the data representation playlist. You can find the link in the video description below. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for further notification of the videos. So let's start. So basically this overflow concept is related to your arithmetic operations. For example, you are doing some addition operation on the signed numbers. Then you can get a situation of this overflow. The same thing goes with the unsigned numbers. You are, let's say, uh, adding or let's say you are subtracting to unsigned numbers. Then again, you can get this situation of the overflow. The next thing to know about this overflow is that meaning of the overflow concept is actually same for unsigned number as well as the signed numbers. But the important thing to note is the procedure to detect the overflow is different in case of signed number and unsigned number. Okay. So in this video, we are going to see that how we will understand the concept of overflow with respect to your unsigned numbers and how we can detect the overflow in case of unsigned numbers. And I have made a separate video for the detection of the overflow in case of signed numbers. You can find that video in the number system and data representation playlist. You can check there. So before taking the examples, let's understand what is overflow actually. So overflow is actually a situation which occurs when result of your arithmetic operation like addition subtraction that result does not fit in the original specified bit or you can say the original size that you are given to represent your particular bits you are not able to accommodate the result that you have got after performing the arithmetic operation in those specified bits and overflow basically indicate that your final result which you got after performing the arithmetic operation that is either too large or too small to fit in the original specified bits. So we will see what is the meaning of too large okay, and too small. So basically in unsigned numbers, we will understand that our result may be too large to fit in the original data uh, size. okay. And the concept of too small, you can see in the signed case. Okay? So let's take some examples to understand this overflow concept better. So here are our two numbers. 5 and 9 and we are adding them and we have to find the result after adding these two numbers and you have to note that we are only dealing with the signed number in this video okay and the other information that I have been given is that these two numbers should be represented in four bits okay and then you have to add these numbers so as you know if you add 5 and 9 what you will get after addition you will get 14 right so this is the decimal representation okay now if I convert them into unsigned numbers, that is, if 5 is converted to the unsigned representation, what I will get? I will get 0, 1, 0, 1, right? So I have already discussed that how you can represent the given decimal number into the unsigned number in one of the separate video. You can check that video in the number system and the data representation playlist in the description below, okay? So accordingly, 9 will be represented as 1, 0, 0, 1, okay? Now, if I add them, okay, that is I am doing the binary addition operation on these numbers, okay. So what I will get? So 1 and 1, it will be 0, okay, and there will be carry. So this will be now 1, now carry is 0. So 1 and 0 is again 1, and again there is no carry. So this is 1, okay. So I got 1, 1, 0, right. Now if somebody asks you, if I convert this number into the decimal representation, then what does this number mean? So it is again like 14. How? Because the weight of this is 1, this is 2, this weight is 4, and the weight of this bit is 8. So 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus uh, 2 is 14. Okay. So this is 14. Okay. So if I add two numbers, 5 and 9, I should get 14. And the computer, when converts these numbers into the unsigned, uh, representation it should get 14 so it is getting 14 only okay that means computer will also give me 14 okay so actually here there is no overflow okay so let's take some another example see there so here is our next example we have to add 5 and 12 and again 
we have to represent these 5 and 12 into 4 bits. Okay. So you can see that 5 is again 0101 and 12 in unsigned representation is 1100. Right. Now, if I add 5 and 12, what should I get? I should get 17. Right. Now, after converting this 5 and 12 into binary, if I add them, so let's see what is the result. So 1 and 0, this one is 1. 0, 0, 0. Okay. 1 and 1, it will be 1, 0. Right. After adding 1 and 1, you will get 1, 0. So this 0 will be written here and this 1 is the carry. So you should get here. Now, this 1 and 1 is again 1, 0. Right. So 0 will be here and then 1 will be here. So actually, this one is called, you can say, carry out or sometimes it is called as end around carry. So if I ask you, what does this number mean? So if you take all these five bits, see the result is in five bits. Okay. One triple zero one. So one triple zero one is basically 17. So after adding five and 12, I should get 17. After adding these two unsigned representations, I am getting 17. But the thing is, here I have been given that you have to represent the numbers in four bits. So it is something like that, that in your computer, we have the registers, right? In the CPU, we have the registers. So registers are of four bits, okay? And they can only store four bits of a number. So only the four bits of this number, of this result, of this result can be stored. So in that way, what are the four bits? So these are the four bits, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. That means inside the computer only this triple uh, zero one will be stored and this one will be discarded. So if this one is ignored, I got this number, right? After addition of this 5 and 12, okay, this 5 and 12. So what does this 0, 0, 0, 1 means in unsigned representation? So it is basically simple one. That means the computer will give me only one. It will not give me 17 because this 17 cannot be represented in four bits. Okay. I have only the four bits. My original, you can say data was getting stored in four bits only. Okay. You can say the registers was also four bits, but the arithmetic uh, result that I got, uh, it is of five bits. Okay. But it cannot be accommodated here. So this one is actually ignored and I got actually, uh, you can say, not the correct result okay i did not get 17 i got one okay so here we have come to a situation of overflow my answer my answer was 17 it has overflown you know it has got out of uh, the range or range of this you can say register okay because five bits cannot be stored now there is another interpretation of this overflow concept so what is that interpretation so as you have seen in the unsigned representation video that how we can find the range of this unsigned numbers. So what do I mean? So for example, if you have two bits, how many different numbers in case of unsigned representation you can represent? So you can represent 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. That means this is 0, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. So that means 0, 2, 3. These four numbers, these four numbers are allowed. So this is the range from 0 to 3. Same way in case of three bits, you can represent from 0, 0 to or ones. So these are actually 0 to 7, 0 to 7. These are the numbers, these are the numbers that you can represent. This is the range. So for n bits, in case of unsigned representation, how many numbers you can represent? So you can represent actually 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1. How? See, in case of 3 bits, if I put n equal to 3, n equal to 3, then I get 0 to 2 to the power 3 minus 1. So this is 0 to 2 to the power 3 is 8, 8 minus 1, 7. Okay. So this is the range. So I got the same range that I have just told you. Okay. So this is the formula of range in case of unsigned number. Right. Now here you can see we have n equal to 4. Okay. So if we have n equal to 4, so in 4 bits, how many different unsigned numbers we can represent? That is what is the range. So range will be 0 to 2 to the power 4 minus 1. So that means 0 to 2 to the power 4 is 16. 16 minus 1, this will be 15. So numbers from 0 to 15, they are allowed 
in 4 bit representation that means i cannot represent 16 actually in 4 bits okay in case of unsigned number only the largest number will be 15 okay so i can represent 0 1 2 and so on till 15 they can be represented in 4 bits so here you can see that this 17 is actually out of this range okay 0 to 15 okay 17 is out of this range okay so in that sense also you can say that this 17 has gone out of this range right the range of the four bits so in that sense also you can say your result has been overflowed from the range of four bit unsigned representation okay so you got overflow and that's why you got some another answer or you got some wrong answer you should basically got seven uh, get 17 but you are not getting 17 you are getting one by the computer okay so if i ask you one question that how you will detect the overflow in case of unsigned number arithmetic operation so you will say that let's say you apply the operation on the unsigned number let's say if you are adding to unsigned number and then if you get this carry bit this carry out bit as one then you will say that there is a overflow situation and if this carry out bit is equal to zero or end around carry bit is zero then you will see that there is no overflow okay so here in this first example if you see when you are adding these two numbers so at last here carry bit was actually zero so one one was actually one zero so zero was here here was one then one okay then one and zero was one and zero plus one was one so the carry bit was actually zero okay so that's why here was no overflow okay in this example there was no overflow you are getting the correct answer right but here it was overflow because the carry out or the end around carry bit was one okay so this is the way you can detect the overflow in case of unsigned number so it is very easy so let's take one another example so suppose you have two numbers 130 and 126 and you want to add them okay and let's suppose these numbers are represented in eight bits okay so the answer should also be represented in eight bits okay so eight bits mean one byte okay so if i ask you that what is the range for the eight bit unsigned numbers so you will say zero to to the power 8 minus 1 and to the power 8 is 256 so this will be 255 so basically from 0 to 255 numbers you can represent using the 8 bits okay 0 1 2 and so on till 255 these numbers can be represented in 8 bits okay so basically if you add 130 and 127 what you should get you should get 257 right now let's add these unsigned numbers okay i converted 132 this unsigned number 127 to its unsigned representation okay so you can easily uh, convert them now add so 0 1 is your 1 now 1 and 1 is actually this 1 0 right so 0 will be here 1 will be carry 1 and 1 again 0 will be here 1 will be carry 1 and 1 again this carry 0 and last carry will be 1 so if you see this answer is actually in 9 bits okay so if you convert this number of nine bits into decimal number you will actually get 257 okay so here you can see that 257 is basically a nine bit unsigned number okay so this is having weight number one this is having weight two okay this is having weight four then 16 32 and so on if you see this will be actually weight having 257 okay so now if you convert this into decimal number 257 in decimal right this answer is in 9 bits but as i told you that your original data is stored in 8 bits and i have to store everything every result also in 8 bits so in that sense only these 8 bits will be represented in decimal number by the computer and they will be given as the result by you okay so this will be actually simple one right all these zeros and one this will be simply one okay because you have to represent the answer in eight bits so basically here overflow situation has come why your answer was actually 257 okay that you should got but here this ninth bit should be discarded why because in eight bit register only eight bits can be stored okay this ninth bit should be discarded so you got only one so again you got the and around carry or the carry bit as one so this is the detection of the overflow
by this way you can say that your result has gone out of range so basically this 257 if you see it is not coming in this range okay 257 is after 255 right 257 is out of range so basically your result has gone out of the 8 bit range okay so in summary we can say our original data was getting stored in 8 bit but our result that is 257 is too large to be fit in those 8 bits because it is coming in form of 9 bits okay and secondly 257 has gone out of the range of 0 to 255 so this is the meaning of the overflow now let's see how we can come across this overflow concept in case of our programming so here is our c program and you can see here i have taken unsigned care data type so basically care is the data type and unsigned is the modifier okay so care as you know in c programming or let's say in my present compiler it is of one byte okay so unsigned care is also of one byte but the difference is only the positive number can be stored inside this unsigned care variable so a b and c all can store numbers from 0 to 255 safely inside them okay without any overflow thing okay but let's see here a is storing 130 b is storing 127 okay so if i add 130 and 127 as we have seen we should get 257 right after adding this a plus b but you know that 257 cannot be represented in 8 bits so that means c will not be able to store 257 okay and let's see what answer then you will get whether you will get some compile time error runtime error or what answer you will get okay so let me compile it and run it so you can see that i am getting one as the output okay and if i run this program again with let's say 128 value in the b okay so you should get 258 okay again the sum of 130 and 128 that is 258 will not be able to be stored inside this c because c can store only numbers till 255 so let's see what result i will get now so i am getting actually two now okay so again if i just increase it by one now let's see what answer i will get i am getting three so basically i am not getting any compile time or runtime error but i am getting some wrong answer so this is actually showing that your uh, actual result that uh, 258 or 259 that you should get you are not getting that okay so this is due to the overflow because the c variable cannot store that answer that is actually coming okay so what is actually happening behind the scene why i'm getting this one two and three so as you can see here this is our number line and we can represent only zero to 255 numbers using the eight bit unsigned representation right now when your answer was coming let's say 257 okay the sum of 130 and 127 was 257 but it cannot be stored in 8 bits right so when 27 257 okay 257 was coming so actually you what answer you will getting you were getting this one okay and when this 258 was coming what answer you were getting you were getting two okay the same way for 259 you were getting this three here right so actually the compiler just convert your number in this circular manner okay in case of overflow okay this i have explained in the data type video in my c programming playlist you can find that c programming playlist and the data type video in them okay so this is how the compiler actually deal with the overflow it does not give any error but it will like go in the circular flow and it will give these numbers okay now let's see one last example so let's say we have the two bytes okay so two bytes means 16 bit number so in case of 16 bit how many different unsigned numbers can be represented so it will be 0 to 2 plus 16 minus 1 so this is basically 65535 so these numbers can be stored or can be represented in 16 bits now let's see in a one program so if you see here i have taken another data type unsigned short in so int is preceded by unsigned short okay so this will make this total data type is of two byte okay in my compiler it is of two byte so a b and c all can store two byte data inside them okay without any overflow so here you can see in a we have the 60000 in b we have 5535 5, now if you add them you will get 65534 5, right so let's see if you are getting that okay yes so you are getting 65534 5, okay this is the correct answer that you should got in the mess also right now if i just increase them let's say by six okay 
now i will get 65536 after adding okay so c will store 65536 right but this is going out of the range of this c c cannot store this answer right because c is of 2 byte that is 16 bit number and the last largest number is 65535 that can be stored safely inside this c okay so i should got wrong answer see i am getting zero now if i increase it by one more number again i will get some another answer i am getting one not the 65537 right so this is again due to the overflow so basically moral of the story is that if you are adding two large numbers okay then you will get the overflow so let's say if you are adding this 65535 and let's say 65534 okay so basically the answer of these two number will be obviously out of this 65535 you will get something like here right more than this number okay but if you are adding let's say 1 and 2 then you will simply get 3 okay then if you add 3 and 2 sometime you will get 5 so basically if you just add the large numbers then you will get the large answer which will not fit or which may not fit in the given representation okay so this was the meaning of this too large okay the result is too large to fit in the original data type and this too small concept we will see in case of sign number okay so i hope you have understood the concept of the overflow and overflow detection in case of unsigned number so if you have any query question comment please write down into the comment box and please do like and share this video subscribe the channel press the bell icon for further notification see you in the next video with the next concept of the overflow detection in case of signed numbers so thank you